Hello viewers, welcome uh, to Elimu TV, a station where we are going to learn and interact together. We're going to have our biology from 3 lesson 19, whereby your tutor will be me, Mr. Gerard. We're going to handle the topic on uh, ecology under the subtopic pollution. We're going to have the following lesson goal, whereby by the end of the lesson, you should be able to explain the effects and causes of air pollution. Uh, on pollution, we can uh, define pollution as uh, the release of harmful or um, substances or forms of energy into the environment by human activities in such uh, quantities whose effects are either harmful or unpleasant to humans or other living organisms. There are three main categories of pollution, namely air pollution, water, and also we can have soil pollution. A pollutant is a substance mainly waste that contaminates air, water, or soil. So now here we are going to look at air pollution, whereby we have, uh, there are some several causes of air pollution, which include the sulfur-based chemicals, oxides of oxygen, smokes and fumes, dust, lead, aerosols. So we are going to start with the first one, which is the sulfur-based chemicals. Um, they, these, they are produced by food preserving industries. Uh, manufacture of sulfuric acid and uh, burning of sulfur-based petroleum fuels Iron sulfide is produced from mineral extraction mines and also from geothermal power stations like the Olkaria in Kenya. Volcanic activities also release um, hydrogen sulfide, carbon four oxide, and also carbon two oxide to the atmosphere. Uh, these are uh, the sulfur-based chemicals have also uh, harmful effects to the body, whereby uh, the high concentration of sulfur four oxide are harmful to organisms. In that, they lead to bronchitis pneumonia and also they can lead to heart failure. We are going to look at the second um, cause of air pollution which are the oxides of oxygen. With the, the, they include the nitrogen 2 oxide and also nitrogen 4 oxide. These are produced from burning of petroleum fuels in industries and emissions and emissions of exhaust fumes in motor vehicles as we can see from our diagram. They are also released during uh, industrial manufacture of nitric acid. Uh, they have got um, effects whereby the nitrogen oxide dissolves in rainwater, forming acid rain uh, with sim similar oxide effects as for sulfur 4 oxide. They are also poisonous to animals, affecting the respiratory system when in aid. Nitrogen 4 oxide is carcinogenic when trapped near the ground due to the thermal inversion. Three gases seriously diminish uh, visibility on the roads. We are going to look at our third um, cause of air pollution, which is the smoke and the fumes. Whereby we can say they, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are contain carbon 2 oxide and carbon, uh, uh, carbon 4 oxide and also carbon uh, particles. These are produced from industries which burn coal and petroleum fuels and they also form from motor vehicles exhaust. As we can see from our diagram, they are also produced by the burning of natural gases and charcoal. Remember all these smoke and fumes have got effects. Uh, smoke and fumes affect the feasibility due to smoke on roads. When they settle on leaves, they block stomata, hence interphotosynthesis. Um, carbon four oxide prevents layers of warm air from escaping into the upper atmosphere, causing greenhouse effect. I'm going to look our, at our next uh, cause of air pollution, which is dust. It is composed of small particles emitted from cement and lime producing industries, such as cement works and also from quarries road construction, dust, uh, dry weather, roads. Um, environmental concerns have led many cement manufacturing industries to adopt the wet method of cement manufacture, which does not result in the release of dust in the environment. Dust settles on plant leaves, hence limiting photosynthesis. It clogs the respiratory services of organisms resulting in breathing difficulties. We are now going to discuss our next cause of air pollution, which is lead. This is mainly from combustion of leaded petrol by uh, motor vehicles, as we can see. Uh, lead is normally added to petrol to serve as an anti uh, compound in vehicles being in cells to improve the efficiency of the uh, combustion. It has got, when inhaled, it is absorbed into the bloodstream and accumulates in the liver. Also, the kidneys and bones of animals affecting physiological functioning of, of these organs. We can look at our uh, next one, which is the uh, mercury, and um, we also have the soil erosion. This is the, our second pollutant here is um, aerosols. That is aerosol sprays. An aerosol, aerosol is a substance that consists of very fine particles of liquid or solids suspended in a gas. These include pesticides, insecticides, the fungicides. 
So they have got several effects which include when copper based um, aerosols are inhaled, they cause irritation of respiratory organs. We are now going to look at another um, pollution which is water pollution, whereby its sources include the domestic effluents, industrial effluents, heat, oil spillage, agrochemicals, lead, mercury, and also we have soil, um, we have what we call soil erosion. These are some diagrammatic representation whereby they are uh, showing us how water is being uh, polluted. We can start with our first one, um, whereby um, we can look at um, the domestic effluents. And the domestic effluents are being uh, what we are seeing on our screens. Untreated sewage from urban centers get discharged into rivers used for water supplies for domestic use. We have our second uh, source which is industrial effluents whereby uh, we have got several industrial effluents which are directed to rivers, dams, marshes, fresh water. So you can see from our diagram. We have our third um, uh, source which is heat. Industries discharge hot water directly into water bodies. Um, we have seen there's also oil spillage, agrochemicals, lead, mercury and soil erosion. Having done and said that, uh, we can have the following activity. We can have the following activity whereby um, you will uh, require to identify causes of water pollution. For this lesson, uh, you can um, refer to KLB, Secondary Biology Students Book 3, which is the fourth edition Nairobi, Kenya Literature Bureau. And for this lesson and many more of our biology lessons, you can send us an SMS through the number that is appearing on our screen, or you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Elimu TV, or our Facebook page, which is Elimu TV, or you tweet us at Elimu TV underscore Kenya. Let us subscribe to all these channels so that um, we are able to enjoy many more of our biology lessons. Thank you.